DA20A1 has a cabin heat and defrost system. The system directs ram air through the coolant radiator in the heat shroud, which is located around the muffler, into the cabin heat valve. The cabin heat knob regulates the flow of heated air. Pulling the knob increases the cabin heat. The heated air is directed to the cabin floor and for the window defrosting. The knob is located in the center console. The diamond airplane has two control sticks, one for each pilot, that operate the ailerons and elevator controls. Ailerons have limited deflection angles, varying from 15 degrees to 17 degrees for upward deflection, while only 12 degrees to 14 degrees for downward deflection. Ailerons work in opposition, for example, as the control stick is moved to the right, the right aileron is deflected upward and the left aileron is deflected downward. Similarly, as the control stick is moved to the left, the left aileron is deflected upward and the right aileron is deflected downward. From the outside, you can access the canopy lock grips through the canopy sliding side windows. To open the canopy, move the two latching handles on the left and right sides of the frame to the open position and push up on the canopy. Additionally, the canopy can be opened by moving the exterior locking handle on the left or right sides of the frame. For short-term parking, position the airplane in a headwind direction. Engage the parking brake. Ensure that the wing flaps are in the retracted position. And choke the wheels. When transporting the airplane on the road, you should use an open trailer. Secure all the airplane components to prevent them from moving during transportation and store them on a cushioned surface for additional protection. Secure the fuselage in such a way that it cannot move in any direction. The fuselage should be standing on its wheels. To avoid damage to the propeller, make sure that it has sufficient clearance from all sides. To turn left, the left brake is applied. The right wheel, which is free to move, exerts a force on the caster wheel from the right, causing the airplane to turn left. The right turn is based on the same principle. 